The coming of the Austin economic community will both build new walls and break old barriers. The concept of a single production-based industry pulling industrial efforts to the world market as one entity in the current state may still be a distant concept. There are still various designs needed to be integrated into a number of locations into a newfound standard for the free flow of capital, goods and labor. Economic think tanks, development experts all see a rising Asia in the midst of the European debt crisis and a recovering U.S. economy. While countries once underdeveloped like Myanmar, Cambodia, Vietnam and Laos have growth potential that eclipse the prospects of the developed nations, but until they rise, international investors still entrust Thailand with the role of the operation base for now. Well, why is this? The answer is the strategic geographic that Thailand is situated. ASEAN, with a combined population of 600 million people, is in between two Asian economic powerhouses, mm -hmm. China and India. China has a population of around 1.4 billion people, while India's population count is approximately 1.1 billion. That's an approximately 3 billion population count combined. More than a few people have tried to envision a cooperated effort between these three Asian giants. Joining us today in towards 2015 is the Secretary General of the Securities and Exchange Commission, Dr. Waterpon Sol Katiya Nurak, introducing us on his vision of the 10 steps to make Thailand a central organism to the economic community that ASEAN will unite upon. But before we start on his campaign towards Thailand's centrality, let's investigate on the competitive advantages that Thailand already possesses ahead of other emerging ASEAN countries, that is, the factor of geographical advantage. Situated at a key strategic pinpoint, Thailand is believed by many that it is the heart of the ASEAN region. It borders Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, and Malaysia. Furthermore, it could develop into a bypassing route to access the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea and onwards to the Pacific Ocean. Dr. Varapon, uh, what's the importance that Thailand could become the regional capital market hub for ASEAN? The first of all, I like to mention that Thailand have uh, some and very important advantage. The first one, uh, we are located at the heart of the ASEAN mm -hmm. and also midway of uh, India and China and uh, with a border linked to many countries and also linked to two oceans, uh, Pacific Ocean and uh, Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. So that is very important because uh, it's a kind of a, a competitive advantage, a geographical advantage. Uh, so this is the first step that we can be a hub or gateway for this region. Mm -hmm. The second one is because India and China, uh, uh, India have more than 1.1 million people, uh, China have more than 1.4 million people, mm -hmm. uh, uh, ASEAN is about 600 million people. All together is about more than three billion yes. people, uh, more than half the world uh, surrounding this region. Mm -hmm. So Thai can be a gateway of the more than 3,000 million people market demand. Uh, these two, if we link all together uh, by uh, infrastructures, uh, Thai can be a gateway because we already have good locations and we also have uh, very good infrastructure. Mm -hmm. However, we still need more uh, construction and facilitate all infrastructure. So we uh, develop 10 strategic moves. In order to realize its position as the heart of ASEAN, Thailand's infrastructure alone still obviously is insufficient for what ASEAN is striving for. The first step in becoming a central hub for ASEAN is the infrastructure fund. And a great array of transportation such as railway networks, road mm -hmm. linkages, airports, seaports, telecommunication systems, 
power plants, and even renewable energy mm -hmm. are part of the plan to localize and facilitate Thailand to be a central location of the region's activities. Right, an improved network of infrastructure will accommodate for a greatly reduced logistic cost in the region. Currently, the total transit transport route within ASEAN is 21,200 kilometers. Rail links exist, but they are not entirely connected to each other yet. Let's listen to Dr. Warapo now. The first strategic move to establish uh, uh, holding or we call uh, 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 infrastructure funds to facilitate the investment in infrastructure. If we have uh, construct or facilitate our infrastructure in this region, we can be a regional hub. Right. So we initiate uh, infrastructure fund recreation to allow investors to invest in this fund. And this fund invests in all the infrastructure, uh, for example, uh, rail systems, mm -hmm. uh, road systems, uh, power plant, water supply, uh, airport, seaport, telecommunications, mm -hmm. and alternative energies, renewable energies. So all this infrastructure uh, can invest in this fund, mm, right? So people can invest fund, that fund invest in this mm -hmm. infrastructure. Uh, and we also uh, waive or the dividend tax for the investor in the case they receive in, uh, dividend. When foreign investors look to ASEAN, they see Thailand as a good potential base for regional headquarters due to its accessibility and current infrastructure, which is still good. Now, in order to accommodate for them further, Dr. Vorapon presents his idea of setting up holding companies, which can be listed in the stock market. Investors now have a capital-injecting entity for investing in the region. The second move is to establish holding company, Kaithria to allow the company uh, which invests in other companies. Holding company is a company that invests in other companies. So we uh, set a regulation allow holding company can be listed in the stock market. Mm -hmm. So holding company is a kind of to help Thailand as a, uh, a gateway for investment in this region. For example, Thai company invests in power plant in Laos, uh, in Myanmar, in other country. Yes. So, so they just set up a holding in Thailand and that holding a whole other stock in other companies. Yes. So, so this holding listed in Thai market. So investors around the world look at Thailand now uh, as a gateway for investment in the region. Mm -hmm. If they want to invest in Myanmar or Laos or yes. Kampucha, uh, they can invest through Thailand, through holding company in Thailand. Because Thai company invest in this region already. And Thai company also set up uh, other business in the region. This is second book. Along with investing comes human resource. Properties for residents and business operations are required. Therefore, setting up the regulation on the Real Estate Investment Trust or REITs will facilitate people to invest in property with much more ease. Because when we are looking at such a large scale of investment for corporations and infrastructure rising within the block, property leasing and ownership regulation is not a small issue. The third move, we uh, set a regulation on REIT, R-E-I-T, uh, Real Estate Investment Trust, yes. to facilitate uh, people to invest in property sectors. Uh, well, if you want to be a gateway of these regions, people will, uh, may set up the regional office in this region, they need office space, then it's rich residential of, uh, space. So, so investment in property uh, becoming uh, more important in the future. So REIT uh, is a kind of guideline or criteria for people who want to invest in property sector. Mm -hmm. It's more flexible uh, and, uh, and, and uh, international standards mm -hmm. uh, type of investment. People know REIT around the world. Uh, people around the world know REIT, what kind of REIT means. And this is the third move. The fourth, uh, we know people uh, want to invest in bigger companies. Yes. Uh, so we try to motivate people, companies, to merge with other companies 
acquisitions uh, to promote acquisitions and mergers and acquisitions mm-hmm. is a third, it is fourth move. So we, uh, we try to pass a law about merger acquisitions mm-hmm. to allow company merge and acquire other companies. Uh, people want, company want to merge other company because they need uh, synergies, they need integration of the market, they need uh, market channels distribution, for example. When we come back from our short break, we'll continue with Dr. Vorapon's campaign for Thailand's centrality continues, especially the wider regional scope. We must not neglect the larger portion of the Thai economy, particularly the SMEs and the coming of AEC, encompassing the whole community of the ASEAN member states.